No matter what's going on, Jennifer Garner always keeps the faith. The 46-year-old actress was snapped in Pacific Palisades, California on Sunday attending church services in a black sweater, smart gray slacks and black loafers. The Houston native, mother to daughter Violet, 13, Serafina, 10 and son Sam, 6, with ex-husband Ben Affleck, wore her brown hair parted and down with black sunglasses on the chilly morning in the well-heeled Southern California suburb. The outing comes as her ex was back in the headlines this week amid his romantic reconciliation with Saturday Night Live producer Lindsay Shookus. The the pair attended the New York City premiere of Triple Frontier more than six months after their split last August. Affleck continues to remain on good terms with Garner, telling the Today Show earlier this month that he's lucky his three children have such a great mom. She helps out a great deal with making sure we co-parent in as good a way as possible. He said of the Golden Globe winning actress, She's wonderful. Somebody's the mother of your kids, they're going to be the most important, central part of your life, and that's good. Garner, who's been linked to businessman John Miller closing in on a year, has been busy with both her career and business endeavors as of late. She provides vocals in the upcoming animated comedy Wonder Park, and is linked to an upcoming comedy called Yes Day, according to IMDb. Business-wise, the camping actress has been promoting her organic baby food brand Once Upon a Farm, stopping off last month at a Costco store in Livermore, California in support of her brand. Earlier this month, Garner announced that she was going to make her products available for families who qualify for Wiccan in the states of Florida and West Virginia. I'm committed to finding ways of providing healthy food to children who have less access and often limited opportunities, she said in a statement. Bringing better nutrition to children everywhere has been our mission since the beginning, it's never been and will never be about just feeding children who have a socioeconomic advantage.